Hello there. The UK has now set its tariffs to lower prices for UK consumers and protect UK industry and agriculture when we end the Brexit implementation period on the 31st of December 2020. Firstly, please subscribe and like this video to give my channel a boost and I'm always uploading new content so please do check back daily. We were told that prices would skyrocket after Brexit, weren't we? All those horror stories coming from the pro-EU campaigners telling us we'd all have to pay more for everything because the EU kept our prices down. Well, the Brexiteers were right. Prices will be lower because the UK controls the import tariffs and if they're lowered or abolished then the UK consumer does not have to pay them. Ergo, prices in our shops go down and give a boost to the post-Covid UK economy too. And as long as retail competition remains healthy, then those reductions will be passed on to the consumers. And the Department for International Trade has today announced the UK's new Most Favoured Nation Tariff Regime, the UK Global Tariff or UKGT. Up until the 31st of December, the EU tariff structure will continue to apply to us, where the common external tariffs protect EU industries that do not apply to us in certain areas, which we'll get a feel for when I go into some of the goods that will soon have zero tariffs supplied. These EU tariffs just keep prices artificially high and force UK consumers to buy from EU manufacturers and suppliers, effectively reducing choice. On top of that, 80% of the tariff money collected goes into the Brussels coffers, not our treasuries. The remaining 20% is kept by us to pay for the customs services. The DIT said... Our new tariff is tailored to the needs of the UK economy. It will support the economy by making it easier and cheaper for businesses to import goods from overseas. It is a simpler, easier to use and lower tariff regime than the EU's common external tariff. And will be in pounds, not euros. It will scrap red tape and other unnecessary barriers to trade, reduce cost pressures and increase choice for consumers and back UK industries to compete on the global stage. And the International Trade Secretary Liz Truss said, For the first time in 50 years, we are able to set our own tariff regime that is tailored to the UK economy. Our new global tariff will benefit UK consumers and households by cutting red tape and reducing the cost of thousands of everyday products. With this straightforward approach, we are backing UK industry and helping businesses overcome the unprecedented economic challenges posed by coronavirus. In short, the system has been subjected to common sense, with 6,000 tariff lines being simplified. Administrative costs have been lowered for business as well. And the changes include scrapping unnecessary tariff variations, rounding tariffs down to standardised percentages and getting rid of all nuisance tariffs, those below 2%. This new structure will ensure that 60% of trade will enter the country tariff-free on WTO terms or via existing preferential access. But at the same time, the UK GT will back UK industry by maintaining tariffs on agricultural products such as lamb, beef and poultry, maintaining a 10% tariff on cars, maintaining tariffs for the vast majority of ceramic products, remove tariffs on £30 billion worth of imports entering UK supply chains, 0% tariffs on products used in UK production including copper, alloy tubes down from 5.2% and screws and bolts down from 3.7%. But import tariffs will be lowered on a host of other products too, such as dishwashers down from 2.7%, freezers down from 2.5%, sanitary products and tampons down from 6.3%, 
paints down from 6.5% and screwdrivers down from 2.7%, mirrors down from 4%, scissors and garden shears down from 4.7%, padlocks down from 2.7%, cooking products such as baking powder down from 6.1%, yeast down from 12%, bay leaves down from 7%, ground thyme down from 8.5% and cocoa powder down from 8%. Christmas trees down from 2.5%. So you can expect to see the blue and gold star waving brigade on the streets after the lockdown ends, calling for us to rejoin the European Union and pay more for our dishwashers, freezers and oranges and the like, and while handing over billions to bail out the Eurozone, and join the EU army too. Not sure they'll get too far with that one, are you? Those poor old ideologically driven rejoiners, they have got a lonely, hugely uphill struggle to come, haven't they? Wonder how the likes of Blair, Adonis, Clegg, Letwin, Clark, Starmer and Hammond et al. will try and spin this one. Oh, and don't forget the party of Remain, the Lib Dems. Anyway, if you want to hear more from me, please don't forget to subscribe and also press that little bell, or you won't get any notifications. And if you want to see more of me, buy a mug with my mug on it. So what do you think about this new tariff regime? Please share and comment, and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.